Uh, Judith and Dickie were here in uh, Portugal. Nice to come to Portugal at this time of year, of course, but there's some serious work to be done. And uh, Judith, you're here as manager of Switzerland and Dickie as the Dutch manager. But, uh, you know, an interesting dynamic going back many years uh, between you two. But uh, what do you feel, Judith, uh, Switzerland can do to maybe upset the odds against the Dutch this week? Um, well, it's going to be a difficult task. Uh, I think first we'll start with Portugal tonight. Um, but of course, we want to give Holland a great fight on Sunday. And um, I think on paper, they're of course the best team there is, and uh, there's nothing, uh, there's no doubt about it. But uh, anything's possible, so we'll give it our best and uh, see how it goes. The Dutch team, uh, Dicky, you know, you're without some of your top players here. We kind of suspected that given their commitment in the Danish league and Jaco of course got injured in Scotland I was there when that happened but you've still got a, a strong team here yeah on paper maybe we are stronger but uh, yeah uh, you know Switzerland got, is, is a strong team as well so uh, yeah we should not underestimate uh, Switzerland you know, and uh, it's going to be bragging rights. Whatever happens in the other matches, you know, you two go back a long time in this game. Uh, 1997 European juniors both winning it, uh, which you just reminded me of. Uh, it'll be an interesting to sit in the coach's chair opposite each other and try and uh, beat the, op the, other, the other person. Yeah, I think so. It's actually quite nice to see that uh, more and more of the players who have played at, uh, at the same time as we have, uh, to see them back in the coaching chair. And it's of course a little bit special that we're coaching against each other, but uh, yeah, the best one will win. And uh, I think uh, we, we both have good teams and uh, we just give it our best shot. Doubles has always been key and always been a strength of uh, Dutch badminton in these team events. Uh, some very good singles players, of course, in the past. But uh, will you have to rely heavily on your doubles players this week and uh, weekend, Dickie? No, well, I think the single players, they have prepared very, really well and uh, they are ready for it. So, uh, yeah, we will see uh, tonight. And the younger, the other teams, of course, you know, they will be coming here, Judith, to try and uh, test themselves. And uh, you cannot underestimate the Portuguese and the Icelandic team. No, I think it's very difficult to, I don't know so many of the Icelandic team. I know the men's singles is good. Um, for the Portuguese, I always admire them for their team spirit and the good fighting spirit. So uh, that's why I'm also saying we're going to be careful tonight and we have to go all in to win that tie. So we'll start with that one first. And then the final question to you, Dickie, is, you know, these team events are kind of rare in badminton uh, because you spend so much time as individuals. Um, is it, uh, do, do your players, do they look forward to this type of event where they can come together and, and you know, genuinely represent the Netherlands and genuinely feel that, you know, that beating of the heart for Switzerland? Well, the atmosphere in the team is really, really good. And uh, I've been talking to, to them and uh, they're really looking forward to play. Uh, in the evening, uh, we get together, uh, we eat together, uh, so it's fine, so uh, I think they like it. 